Saw is a 2004 American horror film directed by James Wan with a screenplay by Lee Wanell and a story by James Wan and Lee Wanell. This is based off of their short horror film, Saw. And it kind of tells the non-linear story about the mystery of the jigsaw killer who tests his victims will to live by putting them through interesting divisive traps and games where they must kind of figure out their physical pain upon where they have to get out of this kind of contraption in order to survive and the frame of the story basically follows Jigsaw's latest victim uh, played by Lee Wanell and Carrie Elways who is uh, Lee Wanell plays Adam and Carrie Elways plays Dr. Lawrence Gordon and it kind of is interesting because we are just thrown upon in this interesting room a dilapidated you could say bathroom washroom whatever it is and there's a body in the middle of the room what's going on what's happening and basically we kind of find out that through non-linear storytelling what's happening who these two people are how adam and dr gordon are connected how jigsaw is connected with them as well the traps are interesting and not only that you have amanda played by shawnee smith who is an interesting character. The aspect of this film is known for its traps. And at the time, it was really mesmerizing and interesting because nothing like this has ever been seen in a film before. And it shows with this movie. Tobin Bell as John Kramer is really, really good. The biggest and best thing about this movie is that it has one of the best twist endings in a horror movie and we find out that the body that's laying in the middle of the room that adam and dr gordon are in comes to life and it's actually john kramer the jigsaw killer and he tried to figure out and understood everything what was going on and he basically did everything and it was just really interesting it's like what this started a chain of events and a huge franchise that is synonymous and was just mind-blowingly insane wacky and so well done the way the movie ends with you know uh john kramer saying game over and then adam just screaming lee wanell as adam is really really good not only that the film is known for its aspect of gore horror james wan solidified himself as a horror director lee wanell solidified himself as a horror screenwriter and both of them with their story so so good not only that danny glover plays detective david tapp seeing danny glover in a horror film is absolutely mind-blowingly brilliant i want to see more of danny glover in horror films now the aspect of the saw franchise is that this came out october 29th 2004 has a runtime of 103 minutes had a budget between 1 million and 1.2 million and grossed 103 million dollars at the box office this put everyone on the map and it's absolutely mind-blowing and interesting and it has become one of the most profitable horror films since scream was released and directed by wes craven in 1996 it's absolutely crazy and fun if you've never seen it, watch this movie. Uh, of course, there are spoilers, like I said, in this. and uh, But it's just interesting how they got away with certain things. And not only that, as I said, every year for the next, I believe, six, seven films, after this release, there was a Saw movie that came out every time during Halloween. It was known for that. The marketing was great. It was absolutely brilliant. This is one of my favorite horror films. And how the non-linear storytelling was done was absolutely brilliant for me saul gets five out of five stars let me know in the comment section below what you thought about saul did you like it did you not like it what did you think of it what do you think about the acting uh what did you think about the directing by james wan the story by both james wan and lee wanell and the screenwriting by lee wanell did you like the non-linear storytelling and what did you think about the shocking ending and the twist did you expect it and do you think that it's the best twist ever in a horror movie let me know in the comment section below about all the questions I just asked. And be sure you click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for new review videos on my channel. I will see you all in the next review video. I'm Mr. Filmstock, and thank you for tuning in.